This is a brief demonstration of the process faculty can use to copy content from an ultra master shell into an ultra semester shell. So in this example here, I have two ultra shells. One has the content I want to use, and the other is a blank shell. So the one that has the content I want to use is this shell that has a banner image and some learning modules with assessments and due dates. And it has my gradebook configured and I have a template announcement that I want to use. Okay, so if I want to use this content, this whole course's content in another course, the option I could use is to use copy content. And I'll go to the semester course shell that I want to use. And then on this page, notice how I have, I have cleared out all of the template content. There's nothing under course content. There's nothing under announcements. There's nothing in discussions. And, and very little to nothing in Gradebook. So I did that by clicking on the dot icon and going to Batch Edit, selecting everything that was on this page and clicking the Delete option. So that cleans this up nicely before I do any copying or importing so that there's little to no duplication when this is all done. So I'm going to copy in my content by clicking on the three dot icon and choose Copy Items. Now Blackboard support materials might call this copy content, but recently they, I think they updated this word to copy items. It's the same tool. So I'll click on copy items and I'm going to look for my course. And I'm looking for that first course. So if I want to select the whole course to bring in, I check on the checkbox. If there were just things, individual items that I wanted to choose instead, if I wanted to just take an individual assessment or individual learning module, I can click on this course and drill down to the items that I want. But otherwise, if I just want to do the whole course, I'm going to search for it and select it. And then click Start Copy. That's going to include all content, settings, announcements, discussions. It's going to leave out student data. Okay, so we'll let this work and I'll return in a few minutes and we'll see what happened. Okay, it's a few minutes later and I refresh my screen and I can see the process is working. It brought in my banner image and it's starting to bring in some folders of content here, some learning modules with my settings. I wouldn't make any changes while the copy content process is still running, but at least you can preview. Once the copy process is done, there should be a green check mark that appears at the bottom of the page. So let's just take a look at my other stuff. My quizzes came in as I needed them. Now if I needed to make changes to any particular settings, such as due dates, I can do that in this course either individually by clicking on that item of content and editing the panel. So I'd click due date and I can adjust the due date here. Or what I could do is I could manage item visibility and due dates in bulk by clicking on the three dot icon next to course content and choosing batch edit. And on this screen, just like how I did copy, I can either manage all content here by checking on the checkboxes and choosing an option so I can edit dates or edit visibility or I can drill down so for example this learning module if there were things in here that I needed to update like the dates I can check on those items with the dates and then go to edit dates and then assign a new date okay so everything looks to be coming in as I expected we just have to wait for that green check mark to appear to know that this process is finalized.